Hi guys, Rebecca the Explorer News and Views here. And in front of me, you'll see I have this cute little baby. Yeah, that happens to be my grandson. Anyway, today is 2-23-2017. And I am going to bring to front two news stories today that were through the Science Digest. And I'm also going to do our update for New Zealand. Anyway, if you see this, is this cute little baby in front of me. That was my grandson. Um, based on two stories. Based on this story that was done, some scientists decided to do a research of a preschool setting. And what they found was that children who are happy and joyful tend to make friends and their personalities rub off on the other children that are around them. Whereas grumpy little children don't tend to make very many friends and sit on the sidelines. They found out that these children in the setting actually do better when they're around other children and they learn and are better created and headed towards their teenage adult years. Whereas children who are not in preschool, daycare setting, don't tend to do as well, I guess. Anyway, um, I was going to tell you something. My grandson goes to preschool and he has grown immensely. So I actually believe that this story makes a lot of sense. Psych story was about bees, bumblebees. This story caught my attention based on the fact that in North Carolina, South Carolina, they were spraying um, this last year for Nile virus to kill mosquitoes, and they ended up killing a whole bee farm and other bees in different areas. And uh, till now, I hadn't really thought much of it until I saw this story come up today about how smart bees really are underneath that little exoskeleton. They have found that bees are able to use tools. They have feelings. And uh, they taught them that how to push these little balls to get a sugar treat. Well, they found out that the bulls, these, these bees can push them forward and push them backwards. And on top of that, each time they were rewarded with a treat. Now the other bees that were in the other groups didn't fare so well because they didn't learn from these bees. However, these bees were used to teach the other bees who actually taught them to do the same thing in order to get a treat. They found out that if a ball was placed farther away and there was one closer, they would tend to push the one that was closer to the treat, which, you know, most people do in life anyway. But they found out that these bu these bees were really, really smart. So I thought that was an interesting story to bring to your attention, which means that bees can probably be trained. Anyway, we move on to New Zealand. Today there was a 4.9, a 4.3, and a 4.0. As we look down here in New Zealand, I'm not really going to pull up anything. You'll notice that the 4.9 and the 4.0 actually occurred around the same areas. If I can find them now. <laughs> right here. But what I found was different is they started this little grid pattern here as well, like they were showing earlier. So these would be considered as swarms, but there's a 2.5, 2.7, 2.8, 2.1, 2.4, 2.5, 2.7, 2.3, 3.4, 2.9, 3.5, 2.3, 2.5, 2.0, 2.2, 2.7. .2 2 the 4.9 fell here, 4.0 was here, and if we focus in on here, you're going to find out something interesting. The Environmental Education Center of New Zealand is right here at the bottom of this hill. So I kind of feel sorry for them. They study the environment. They're on this hill right here and they got hit in this area with a 4.9 which was actually listed as severe. As we move down to the other end of the island here, we're going to find out that down here by Seddon there was a 4.3. And this struck right off the coast area, right here, near Clifford Bay, in this little jut out here. Now yesterday I had seen a quake that was over in this area. It was at a depth of 211 kilometers deep. There was also another one today which was a 2.4 at 200, 211 kilometers in depth. There was also a 2.1 at 217 kilometers in depth, which was right here. This one here is pushed this way. This one here will more than likely go this way. 
So we're going y'all are going to still be continuing to be on watch for a larger quake. Anyway, that's your mini update. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Rebecca the Explorer. Um, remember, be prepared. Don't be scared and have a plan. And uh, thank you. Much love.